Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about the geometric means. Last time, we had a video about the geometric sequence, the nth term of geometric sequence, and right now, the focus natin is to talk about the geometric means. So by the way, guys, what, it, what does it mean kapag sinabi natin geometric means? Geometric means, these are the terms between the first term and the last term of a given geometric sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the formula, so I know you're familiar with this formula, itong ginamit natin sa nth term of geometric sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Ito pa rin yung formula natin, pero refresh ko muna lang muna kayo. Your a sub n is the nth or last term, your a sub 1 is the first term, your r is the common ratio, your n is the number of terms. Now, for this problem or for this topic, I have three different examples for us to solve. So let's try this one. Find the geometric means or geometric mean of the following. So in number one, we are given five blank 20. So we need to find a single geometric mean. And this one is two blank blank and 686, we need to input or insert two geometric terms or two terms in the sequence. And number three, we are given three blank, blank, and one over nine. So let's start with number one. For number one, if you're trying to solve for a single geometric mean, there are two possible ways on how to do it. Again, there are two possible ways on how to do it. So, ang hinalap natin ay second term, di ba? So that is a sub 2. What will I do is I will multiply the first and the third. Or I will multiply these numbers. You have 5 times 20. And I will get the square root of their product. Okay, so a sub 2 is equal to 5 times 20. That is the square root of 100. And getting the square root of 100, that is 10. So a sub 2 is equal to 10. I think second term natin or in geometric mean natin between 5 and 20. So this is 10. Now, this is the first method. Again, if you're trying to solve for a geometric mean, a single geometric mean, and all you need to do is to multiply the first and last and then get the square root. That's it. Okay? Pero pakita ko rin sa inyo yung second process natin. For the second process, we will be using this formula. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. The last term, guys, is 20. So you have here 20. Okay? Your a sub 1 is the first term, which is 5, times your r, which is wala pa. So that is r raised to n. So we have 1, 2, and 3. Meron tayong 3 terms, di ba? So 3 minus 1. And then we have here 20 is equal to 5 times r raised to 2 because we have 3 minus 1 here. Again, 3 minus 1, I ko sa inyo, is 3, uh, r squared. So we will manipulate the equation by dividing both sides by 5. And this one is also by 5. Cancel, cancel. We have here r squared. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. And ang target kasi natin dito, guys, is to find the common ratio. And we need to get the square root of r squared and square root of 4. Your r is equal to 2. Ibig sabihin natin common ratio natin. Using this common ratio 2, let's, for example, we will erase this. We know that the common ratio is 2. Okay, the common ratio is 2. The first term is 5. Diba? Given your definition for the geometric sequence, to find the next term, you need to multiply the existing term by the common ratio, which is 2. So 5 times 2, that will give you the answer of 10. Okay? Though we use the different methods, same answer na nakuha natin. Okay? Pero ginagawa lang tong first method natin, 
if you're trying to uh, get the geometric mean or a single geometric mean. Okay, let me clarify that. Let's continue with item number two. For item number two, guys, we're given two black, blank, and 686. Now, guys, for this topic, uh, for this example, we are asked to find two missing terms. So we will use this formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Again, your a sub n is the last term. Listo na lang natin. Your a sub n is equal to 686. Your a sub 1 is 2 because that is your first term. Your n is the number of terms. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Your n is equal to 4. So, plug in natin yung values dito. This is 686. Is equal to your a sub 1 which is 2. Your r is unknown. Your n is 4. That is 4 minus 1. Simplifying this exponent. You have 686 is equal to 2 raised to r, uh, 2 times r raised to 3 because three, uh, 4 minus 1 is 3. And manipulating the equation, divide both sides by 2, cancel, cancel, you have here r cube. Okay? And then dividing 686 by 2, that is 343. Now, to get the common ratio, get the cube root of r cube and the cube root of 343. R cube, cube root of r, r cube is r, this is your common ratio, and the cube root of 343 is 7. Okay? So, ngayon, para magkawa natin yung second term, a sub 2, you need to multiply the first term to by your r which is 7 and your a sub 2 is equal to 14 this is 14 and for a sub 3 get the second term which is 14 times 7 what is 14 times 7 guys let's multiply 4 times 7 that is 28 carry to 7 times 1 and 7 times 1 7 plus 2 is 9. Ibig sabihin yun, guys, this is 98. Your a sub 3 is 98. That is the answer for item number 2. Now, let's go with item number 3. Ngayon, sa item number 3 natin, baka isipin yun, napakahirap niya. Medyo, pero when you encounter some fractions, we have 3, blank, blank, and 1 over 9. Don't be afraid about that. Okay, using the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Your a sub n is equal to 1 over 9. As your last term, a sub 1 is equal to 3. Your n is equal to 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So same problem, plug in to the formula. a sub n is 1 over 9. 1 over 9 is equal to 3. First term. Your R is unknown. Your number of terms is 4 minus 1. So we have 1 over 9 is equal to 3 R cubed. Divide both sides by 3. Okay, ito ha. When you're dividing a fraction by a whole number, by whole number, it will move to multiplication. It will become 1 over 9 times, yung reciprocal na itong 3, and that is 1 third. So, 1 over 9 times 1 over 3, and that will give you 1 over 27. So, this is 1 over 27. Cancel natin to. Your R is R cubed. Okay? So, ngayon, continue natin. Get the square root of, get the cube root of 1 over 27. And get the cube root of r cube. Okay? So, dito, the cube root of 1 over 27 is 1 over 3. And ito naman, this is your r. Ibig sabihin, your common ratio 
is equal to R. And we will use the common ratio to find the second and third term. So for the second term, A sub 2, that is 3 times 1 third. So 3 times 1 third natin is the same as 3 over 3. O kaya, equal siya sa your A sub 2 is equal to 1. This is the second term. Now, for the third term, kunin mo yung, yung A sub 2, which is 1, times 1 third. 1 times 1 is 1, and meron tayo invisible 1 that will give us the answer of A sub 3 is equal to 1 over 3. Ito lang yung pinasagot natin. So, this is the third term, 1 over 3. So, ayun nga guys. I hope na natutunan mo yung video natin about the geometric means, kung paano ba gumamit ang formula, at kung paano discoverihan yung pagkasagot ng magandang klaseng problem. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!